آزادی بیان یعنی لون زیو فری سپیچ Eli, can you start briefly by summarizing what Wicket is and why so many internet users and civil society groups are up in arms about it? Sure. Um, so Wicket is a conference that is being held under the auspices of the International Telecommunications Union, which is the ITU. And it's being held to update the, a, tr- a major treaty called uh, the International Telecommunication Regulations. Um, This is a treaty that hasn't been updated since 1988, so it's a pre-internet, really, treaty. Um, and a, a number of ITU member states want to use the, these treaty renegotiations to bring the internet into the purview of the ITU for the first time. So the ITU, the, in the past iterations of this treaty have really focused on just physical interconnection of telephone networks, um, just the, the physical stack, as it's called, um, and, and really not focus at all on content issues, on security issues. Um, so for the first time, if some member states get their way, this, is, this, this treaty is going to affect Internet users. Why did you and Jerry Brito, the co-founder of WikiLeaks, why did you decide to start the site originally? What was your motivation? Well, we were... We started to get educated about this this topic of wicket and we um we kept noting that the ITU said that you know there's a lot of misinformation about uh, about what what's actually going on that's not really a threat to anybody and we realized well this is really because the documents aren't out there that that we don't we don't know what's going on so um we heard several Uh, people say that these documents are not, uh, they're not legally classified and um, they're not, um, there's no reason not to put them out publicly. So we just thought we would provide a site where people could leak them to us and we would host them.